to another episode of Babe Led Weeding with Talia. I'm laughing because I am currently breastfeeding Talia and she's just looking at me wondering who I'm talking to. So I just wanted to start off by saying that I'm only filming certain, like, not certain days, but just particular days because at the end of the day, like, this is, although this is something that I really want to share with you guys, I also want to just experience it with myself, like me and Talia. Um, and obviously one of the key things to baby led weaning is just watching and supervising and I don't want to spend my time taking pictures and everything. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm just going to get on with it. So this is, um, I can't remember what day this was, but I basically gave her avocado on toast. So this was the first time giving her avocado, um, giving her toast, sorry. And I think she really enjoyed it. Obviously it is a little bit nerve wracking with bread because I guess unlike, um, yogurt and like dairy products but they're quite smooth obviously toast is quite rough and obviously you can get it stuck in your mouth and it's just very nerve-wracking but I think she enjoyed it and I did give it to her a couple days this week um she's also in this video she's just eating some yogurt bark now I found this over on tiktok but if you do want me to share how you make it then let me know because I'm happy to like film a little video on that um but it's essentially just fruit and yogurt frozen um but she really likes these and they also did say that this was a good thing to have um with teething which if you are watching like uh, are with us on this journey talia nearly has her first tooth don't you is cutting through so we've had a bit of a hectic week and i have had a migraine basically all week which is horrible but it's only because i haven't been sleeping properly have i no <laughs> I will also say with the breastfeeding and having a tooth come through, not the best thing in the world. Like it's feeling very sharp and it's hurting more than what it was. So wish me luck. <laughs> so anyway, looking back at these videos, I'm actually just, I like, I just can't believe how much I love Talia. Like she's so cute. And just look at her eating that toast. Oh, I just love her. But um, yeah, and like fun fact, I never really, well, it's not even a fact, is it really? But I didn't know how babies babies would eat um like for some reason it really baffled me the way she was eating this toast but i don't know how i was expecting her to eat it right but um she did choke a little bit she did choke a few times and uh, i do find myself panicking more at the moment and i think it's just because we have had a few uh, like not scares but like i don't know i think we're just still learning and still new to this so it is just a bit scary watching her but um you know she can handle it so Go Talia. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of sleep. So I think one of the hardest things about baby led weaning is there's so many opinions from so many different people. And I think it's really hard to like look at that and then think, especially when you're a first time mum, to think actually like, you know, every baby is different and this is our journey and what Talia does doesn't mean that everyone's going to do it. I absolutely love this where the rabbits are like, I have some and Talia just like pushes them away like, no, my food. <laughs> um... Sorry, but yeah, and uh, like, for example, I've seen so many things online saying, um, you know, like babies won't eat everything to begin with, um, like this, you know, for the first couple of months, I think we'll end up on the floor, but this isn't the case with Talia because she will eat. And I think that's one of the reasons why with the toast, it scared me a little because she will eat at least half of that toast. And it's just like, my brain is telling me, you know, baby spit most of it out and it ends up in the floor but it doesn't with Talia like she will actually have a good go at it and I think that's why it kind of scares me when she like breaks it in half sometimes and then tries eating but um yeah anyway this is another day and I actually found a bib I think um it was one of Talia's cousins um that gave it to her but it's a bit too, it's a bit too big and I do need to find some ones that actually fit her um but yeah again avocado toast she did actually I think get most of the avocado off before she had the toast but that is fine, because that is what you wanted to do. You probably didn't know you wanted to do that, but that is what happened. Also, I told Chris to come sit with us, because he actually done a bit of baby led weaning by himself with Talia, I think it was last week, and um, he panicked, and Talia cried, and I think she was panicking and choking, and it was just a bit scary, but um, I don't want Chris to be associated with that panic, which is why I said to join him. I don't actually know if that would, you know, if that would be something that she would put relevance to if that's even the right way of saying that um but i just wanted just in case um but chris was actually sat there reading about choking and everything because he just didn't want to risk it so that is what he was doing um but yeah obviously i was sat with talia anyway so one of us was still watching her weren't they 
Tyler keeps looking at me like, Mum, what are you talking about? What are you talking to? Um, but yeah, so avocado is pretty messy. So if anyone actually wants to have a go with that, it's messy. Look at her, shoving it all in her mouth. <laughs> shoving it all in. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, oh, and there's another bit of toast. But yeah, she literally gave toast such a good go. I was pretty proud of her. Wouldn't I? Yeah. What else did we give you? We gave you strawberries, didn't we, that day? Yes. <gasps> and you had yogurt and strawberries. You okay? And you also had strawberries. And oh, Don't put any more in because this is what you did last time. She's watching the video just like, what is happening? That's you. But yeah, so she choked a couple times. And I think the strawberries as well because I've only given strawberries to her a couple times um, sliced. And I think the seeds, she's just not quite used to them. I just wanted to pause here and quickly say that if you are enjoying these videos and you haven't already then please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really supports my channel and I can obviously make more of these and yeah Just take a bite <laughs> Did you take a bite of that? Oh my god you're a ruthless girl That's so cold Look at her that's so cold, she's taking a bite. Yeah, well, it's, it's only cold on our teeth, isn't it? But other than that, it's not really cold, is it? And I also just wanted to say that I am no expert because I'm a first-time mum, like most of you probably are, um, and I'm just doing what I think, and I have been doing research. I, I'm not saying I know things, but I have been doing research on certain things before I give food to Talia. Um, but I just wanted to say I basically got a message or someone said to me that I was cutting my vegetables up wrong and it needed to be cut quarterly at this time um, instead of halves or however I'd done it. And I just want to say that someone said this to me, but I have my own apps and my own research and I am following certain things. So, you know, they might have thought that, but what my app says is different. And I'm not saying that an app is right, but That's it's what I'm going by. Here's some sweet potato. Mm, I yummy. honestly don't know why I sounded so out of breath in that, but um, yeah, so she had a sweet potato wedges, which is the first time I've given that to her. Um, I just put a little bit of paprika on, not too much, but a little bit just to give it some flavour. And she also had strawberries, so I gave her the yogurt bark with a strawberry in and just a couple fresh strawberries, um, just because that is like the newest, like thing that we're trying um and i just want to see what it's like and again even with that this video is completely different to what I how i would normally go about it but i'm just sort of trying to give you a little few tips i guess um but again they always say that or a lot of apps and everything or online they say don't give fruit straight away don't give sweet stuff try like the vegetables and the greens and everything first i didn't do that and okay maybe talia likes banana a bit more than what she should at this stage but like i'm not really that i don't care too much because at the end of the day at least she's eating and she's trying new things and also my health visitor did advise to give bananas to begin with but it just goes to show that like don't just read everything that you see and go with it like you know be your own person and be the mum that you want to be because Obviously, there is guidelines to follow, but if you don't agree with something or if you're doing something different, don't feel like you're doing it wrong. Talia was just about to have an input then, and I stopped it, luckily. Um, but yeah, and I, I do get it with people, and I do feel like it, it is hard to hear because I know that when I read the comment earlier... Thank you, Talia. When I did read the comment earlier, I did kind of get, like, feel a bit... Uh, about it do you know what I mean like because I was, I was just like am I doing this wrong but I then had to sort of change my mindset a little bit because I know that I'm not doing it wrong um and Talia is fine and she's enjoying her foods and everything so yeah I think it's just I don't know be you as you can see Talia was just really really happy there I love her smiley face bless her um but yeah she really enjoyed the sweet potato so I definitely will be doing the wedges again because I can obviously give her different foods of that oh, bear with me 
there is a bit of choking coming up, but um, nothing too crazy. And I kind of expect it because I feel like wedges is a little bit stringy. Um, I do want to know though, when if any of you are like also on a journey or you're a bit ahead of us, um, are you able yeah. to comment just when what meat can I give her and when and how? Um, because that is the next thing that I want to give her. I'm desperate to give her meat. I just don't know when, and so is Chris. Um. But for now, we're obviously happy sticking with the vegetables. So if you can't do it yet, then that's fine. Um, but yeah, and then as you can see in the video, we've just given her some strawberry yogurt. And she is crazy with this. Like, she will literally bite it. Like, and that's cold. It's just been in the freezer. Sorry if you can hear Talia. Anyway, we're coming to the end of the video now. Um, so I hope you all really enjoyed this. If you did, as I said, please give it a like and a thumbs up. That's the same thing. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I will see you for week five. I cannot believe it's been a month already of this. This is absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, so hopefully next month will be more exciting because she'll be a little bit older.